So, the other day, this would be two days ago now at this point, a monster trade happened in the NFL. And it's not so often that we get monster trades in the NFL. This one was a huge one. One of my favorite players in the NFL, Khalil Mack, the former sack attack from the silver and black, was traded to the Chicago Bears. We finally know the full details of the trade. It is two first round picks and a sixth, I believe. And in return, the Bears receive Khalil Mack, a second and a fifth, if I'm not mistaken. I took a screenshot of it uh, for the exact details. Yeah, Khalil Mack, a two and a five, both this year for, or excuse me, both next year for the Bears' first round pick this year, a sixth round pick this year, and a first and a third next year. So the Bears actually did extremely well in this trade. Uh, I, I see a lot of people making excuses for the Raiders. Oh, they had to. They were going to give up a third of their cap, which they wouldn't have. It would have been, it would have been close to twenty percent of their cap. I believe might have been like fifteen. It, it's really not that much when you are considering a top five defensive player in the entire NFL. Khalil Mack now with the Bears. The reforming of the Monsters of the Midway. Should be very interesting. We got Adrian Amos, Khalil Mack, Akeem Hicks. Let's go ahead and break down the roster. So, of course, we have Mitchell Trubisky as the starting quarterback. He's got quick development, only a 75 overall. He will be the main piece on offense throughout this rebuild. He's a decent option for us. We also have a dual running back attack in Jordan Howard and Tariq Cohen. The other day in my Khalil Mack video, I just woke up. And I had mistakenly said Alshon Jeffrey instead of Allen Robinson. I know Alshon Jeffrey's been with the Eagles. I know Allen Robinson signed with the Bears. I misspoke. It happens. Even though I pinned it as the top comment, still everyone wanted to comment, oh, uh, did he, does he really think Alshon Jeffrey's on the Bears still? What an idiot. Uh, shut up. You're an idiot if you scroll past the pinned comment that says it. What do you mean? I misspoke. I'm sorry. I make mistakes, man. They're rare, but they do happen. Kevin White is here. Taylor Gabriel. Uh, Anthony Miller should be a cool player that we kind of build around. The offensive line needs to be improved. We got Cody White there. James Daniels was taken uh, with a pretty high pick in this past draft. Kyle Long, of course, has been a piece in this offensive line for a long time. Bobby Massey needs to go. Charles Leno probably needs to go. We got Trey Burton signed from the Eagles. We also have Deion Sims and Adam Shaheen, who unfortunately is out for the year, but he's going to be fine for the purposes of this rebuild. And then on defense, the new monsters of the midway. Leonard Floyd, Danny Trevathan, Roquan Smith will be a huge piece that we use on defense. Aaron Lynch is a beast as well. So have Sam Acho, Hook'em Horns, Adrian Amos. You got Eddie Jackson. Those are going to be the two starting safeties. And then at cornerback, we got to figure it out what we're doing. We got Kyle Fuller. He's decent, but getting up there near 30, as he is uh, going to be 30 in four years. So not that close. Bryce Callahan is eh. And then we have Prince of Mucamara, who's actually near 30. I don't kid around with there. He's 29. And then Craven LeBlanc, I don't really care about. Marcus Cooper, don't really care about. Um, I don't, we'll probably trade Nick Kwiatkowski. He's okay. Only normal development. Kylie Fitz doesn't really fit. See what I... Akeem Hicks, how old are you? 28? Yeah, 28 years old. 88 overall. Yeah, it probably is going to work okay. Khalil Mack's going to play left outside linebacker. We'll start Jonathan Bullard. We have Eddie Goldman, who probably should be a little bit higher over, of an overall, I think. But let's get, let's get Khalil Mack at left outside linebacker. Get him going after the quarterback. 73. That's not going to happen. He is going to wear number 52. 52 is currently claimed. Who has 52? Is it John Timu? He has 53. Jonathan Anderson, 26-year-old. Uh, there's no space for you on the roster anymore. Next time, pick a different number. I, I know we could have changed it. We could have changed his number, but uh, I'm not really about it. Khalil Mack is going to wear number 52. 27 years old. He is an absolute beast in the prime of his career. And honestly, the Bears got him for a steal. They really did. But before we do anything, I regretfully have to trade away some picks. I don't want to. But uh, we don't really have a choice. All right, we're going to trade a 1, a 1, and a 3 for a 2 from the Raiders. This actually will work out. It's a 2019 2, if I'm not mistaken. Is it not? It's a 2020 second round pick. So, no. 
2020. So we'll do that. That, of course, goes through with ease. So those are our two first round picks gone and a third gone in the correct years, if I do recall. And I don't recall because I'm looking at it. I don't have to recall. And then I need to trade a 2019 six for a 2020 fifth. Oh, this might not go through. It's going to actually. Yep, they're going to value that uh, that pick this year a little bit more. So everything is in order now. We've traded all our picks away that we had to. And what do I want to get rid of off this roster? That is a good question. Ah, dude, Bears fans are going to be so pissed if I move Kyle along. I can't. This is actually an incredibly youthful team for the most part. Zach Miller's 33. I got to trade Zach Miller. He's injured in real life. He's 33. I got to trade him. I have to trade him. And then the rest of the team is really just not old at all. So I don't really have to make too many trades. I would like to acquire some draft picks back. Let's see what we can do. Pretty big trade to start off here. It's going to be Zach Miller, Nick Kwiatkowski, and Bobby Massey for a first round pick from the Jets. We're trading some decent value here, but none of them are starters except for Bobby Massey, who's terrible anyways. We get a really, really valuable pick from the Jets. Their first rounder. We'll see if we can turn that into somebody sick. But this team is trending in the correct direction. Is there anything else I really want to trade? The answer is Kyle Long, but oh, people will be mad. <laughs> I don't care. Boom! We finessed the Packers doing a little bit inner divisional trading. Kyle Long, I know Bears fans love Kyle. He's a beast. But he's only 79 overall. He is 29, which means at the end of the season, he likely is going to be uh, a 77 or a 76 with regression. Prince of Mucamara, same deal, same exact deal. And Benny Cunningham gets us Kenny Clark. So we're giving pretty you know non-valuable players to the Packers in exchange for an absolute monster of a defensive tackle Kenny Clark's gonna slide in it so nicely at defensive tackle in a 3-4 what we could do actually and I kind of want to figure out how I want to do this Leonard Floyd is an end that's what he is he's a defensive end playing outside linebacker Khalil Mack same exact deal but in the 3-4 of course are outside linebackers Danny Trevathan is a decent player he's 28 we could trade danny trevathan have roquan smith as our lone middle linebacker we, we wouldn't even need to uh, honestly now i wish i didn't trade uh nick kwiatkowski because we could have started him in the 4-3 danny trevathan could play outside linebacker roquan smith in the middle kwiatkowski at left outside linebacker leonard floyd would play right end khalil mack would play left end and then we'd have kenny clark and akeem hicks on the inside at defensive tackle Ooh, I actually really like that idea. We could just trade Eddie Goldman, though. We would anyway. Now, we're going to stick in the 3-4. We're going to trade Eddie Go Or, hold on. Eddie Goldman could play right end. That's what we're going to do. I just looked at my camera. I noticed I was doing this weird thing with my hand to my temple. Like, I'm freaking Charles Xavier from X-Men. <laughs> like, what, what am I doing? Mind control in this game? Let's take it easy with whatever that was. But... Eddie Goldman is now going to play right end. He's a 77 overall. Not amazing. Keem Hicks still works at left end really well. Kenny Clark is a beast at defensive tackle. What is the scheme fit at right end? Do we know? Let's check it out. We need a run stopper. That's actually, coincidentally, what Akeem Hicks is. So what we're going to do instead of that is Akeem Hicks is going to play right end. Eddie Goldman's going to move to left end. And that actually might be a perfect scheme fit. This is the move right here. Akeem Hicks goes to right end. Watch this. Watch what happens. You guys are not going to believe this. Put everyone in their correct positions. Eddie Goldman now is playing with the scheme fit. Akeem Hicks is playing with the scheme fit, which means extra XP, which is exactly what I want. That is so big. How come Roquan Smith does not fit in the base 3-4? Is it going to be run stopper style middle linebacker? What is it? It's field general. He's not field general? What would Roquan Smith's type be then? Surely, he's got to be so close to Field General. What is it? Coverage? Pass coverage is 81. Okay, well, we're going to work on Field General over the course of the year. He's got superstar dev. He's going to be a monster. He's going to win defensive rookie of the year. He always does whenever we play. Let's just hope he does this time. Everything is looking insane. The team is sick. What is Adrian Amos? Hybrid? He's, ooh, he's everything. <laughs> So Adrian Amos is also going to get up to uh, the scheme fit. He'll get extra XP. We're going to simulate to the midseason mark in a little bit here. 
and then we will spend some of our skill points but overall the team looks really really good i am super happy with where we are i've also taken the liberty to change our offensive scheme to vertical zone run and while that doesn't fit guys that you think it would you know for 96 percent scheme fit it fits guys that i want it to overall which is james daniels trey burton's all right is there anything i know it's 96 percent is there anything that would actually fit better that would get Mitch Trubisky on? What is his style? He's Scrambler. I don't like that very much. You know, I, I would rather have it with just Mitch Trubisky. We're going to change to the spread and take the lower overall scheme fit just because, we, it, you know, it's on players we want. Jordan Howard's kind of weird for this team because Tariq Cohen's a beast. But Jordan Howard's really good. I'm not going to trade him. There's no way. But it's interesting with the two running backs. Anthony Miller is someone I want to get. A lot of XP too, so that's going to be good. James Daniels as well. I need him to progress super, super well. We'll eventually be replacing a lot of this offensive line. So I think we're probably in a pretty good spot. So let's simulate to the midseason mark. Hopefully our team does okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter, actually. I mean, we'll just... We just want the team to perform. We don't have our first round pick anymore. So honestly, the better that we play, the worse the pick is for the Raiders, which means the better the pick will be... Or excuse me, the trade will be viewed... In the long run we are two and five of course we do have to re-sign khalil mack that's going to be a top priority adrian amos also an impending free agent as is bryce callahan as is eddie goldman pat o'donnell someone i want to bring back for sure kevin white we're in an interesting spot we might save some of these guys for the end of the year but khalil mack deserves a monster extension and he will get one so we could give him the exact contract he got but i'm not going to because that's a lot of money. I probably should, right? Mm, I probably should. So it's hard to actually line it up exactly. But the main thing you need to know is it's 141 million over six. We're going to have the base salary at 16. And then the signing bonus at 7.5. He is, of course, going to accept. How can you not? Bryce Callahan and Adrian Amos accept as well. We're going to hold out and hold on on Eddie Goldman. Pat O'Donnell actually won't right now. Aaron Lynch, we're probably going to let walk. All right, Pat O'Donnell's back. We signed him to a long-term deal. And let's go ahead and upgrade this team. We're not necessarily out of the playoff race just yet. Let's see. We are... I mean, it's kind of close. I also, I have a ton of people that always ask about my rebuilding settings. Look in the rebuilding playlist that this video is under. You're going to see my rebuilding settings to figure out how, you know, I do all my settings. As Roquan Smith actually gets a two overall bump as we attack Field General there. I really want him to be a Field General style player so we can get even more XP. But he had four skill points at superstar development is so critical towards you know how fast he becomes a monster and he's already in total an 84 overall that field general boost i thought was going to take him to an 85 but it is close does that make his field general style number one it does he now fits the scheme he's going to get even more xp khalil mack power rusher makes him go up to a 95 overall he continues to just be an absolute monster and the rest of this team is really coming along nicely. Adrian Amos fits the scheme now. As we're going to go Kyle Fuller man-to-man. -man. He fits the scheme now if he didn't already, which I don't think he did. Bryce Callahan goes up to an 81 overall. The team is really in a good spot moving forward. Of course, our record this year isn't anything to write home about. But we're definitely trending up, as I talked about a little bit earlier. We unfortunately did not make the playoffs here in year one. We finished 6-10. and 10. Although the most wins in this entire division was seven. It's, you know, it's always weird. But we will check out the stats, see how we did. Hopefully we got some guys that won some stuff. Mitchell Trubisky, you know, honestly, decent season. 4,000 yards, 24 touchdowns is just too low. But only seven interceptions is also super low, so I like that. Jordan Howard, not a ton of attempts. 900 yards, so eight touchdowns, good yards per carry. Tariq Cohen, not so much. Receiving Taylor Gabriel and Allen Robinson, both over 1,000 yards. Tariq Cohen had six touchdowns receiving. He almost led our team. Taylor Gabriel with seven. Allen Robinson, five. Anthony Miller had three. Decent season for him. Blocking, how'd we do? Overall, not terrible, I guess. Danny Trafathan leads our team in tackles with 124. Roquan Smith had seven sacks. Tackles for loss, Khalil Mack at 16. He only had 12 sacks. Could be, you know, a product of the scheme in the playbook. Seven and a half for Danny Trevathan, seven for Roquan. A lot of middle linebacker blitzes going on. Like, what is <laughs> what is going on here? Good amount of sacks for a lot of guys, though. Just not enough. Roquan Smith, also, uh, also three interceptions as I turn into 
Just a ridiculous lisp boy there. It's not even a thing. Craven LeBlanc with three as well in the nickel. Somehow notches three picks. Roquan with a force fumble. Cleo Mack also uh, pretty much mirrored his stats in that department. And defensive touchdowns, no. Tom Brady wins the MVP. No bears in there. We'll check out NFC Offense Player of the Year as it goes to Alex Smith. Interesting. No bears. Defense Player of the Year, Deion Jones. And then behind him, Devondre Campbell. Any bears? No. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Saquon Barkley. Anthony Miller in there at number six. Show me Roquan. There it is. Roquan Smith, per usual, number one in the NFL. Like to see it. We also had a... Uh, I read 49ers as bears. I am illiterate. So not a ton of skill points on offense. Defensively, we should have a lot. Roquan has four again. Ah, and that's pretty much it. That's disappointing. Roquan Smith up to an 89 overall this rookie year. I have seen higher. I think I've seen the CPU have him at like a 91, but I will take 89 overall. That is not too bad. Oh, I, I think I forgot to use my coach XP. We actually probably could have gotten more XP, which would have been, of course, better. I did forget. That's a little frustrating. I'm going to save it for quarterback because I want Mitch Trubisky to be the guy. Or I don't like Mitch. I want Mitchell Trubisky to be the guy. But it is time for the offseason. We'll see if we can prove the offensive line of free agency. Maybe there are some star players out here. Who knows? Now we have to decide, do we want Eddie Goldman back in the team? He's a 78 overall. Oh, Keem Hicks is going down in overall. No, he was up to a 90, I think. I hate regression. Did he not? Oh, yeah, he only regressed a little bit. It took him down in overall. Maybe he was just at an 88. I thought I got him up. I don't know why. Uh, regardless... We had a 91 defense, 75 offense. This truly is the Monsters of the Midway rebuild. Eddie Goldman. We're going to see if he's in free agency, which he will be because we're not re-signing him. And then we'll make a decision there. We have 40 mil to spend. This doesn't really hurt our cap, even with Khalil Mack. Jonathan Hankins is here. He fits pretty well. So does Trevor Williams. Per usual, the Redskins are just really bidding a lot on him. We could sign 37-year-old Cameron Wake in the interest of youth. He's not getting a lot of interest. He's 37. He's, hey, it's on the table. All right, time to scout. What do we need? We need, uh, we need help. Oh, I want this quarterback pretty badly because he's a monster. Oh, he's very good. What pick do we have? fourth overall if george hansen is there i'm taking him so we got eddie goldman back he accepted in week two and i don't we we're probably stuck with him for right now not stuck he's good but it's not great all right nfl draft time we pick fourth overall thank you to the new york jets what other picks do we have we have a three a four a five and a seven i know Mitchell Trubisky should be the future of this team and in real life he absolutely will be if he's there at number four I am taking him Keyshawn Blake running back goes to the Bucks at number three is he available he's not you guys are stuck with Mitchell Trubisky look how bad the offense of just the offense is uh, it's glitching out because that's not how the defense is we're not C plus everywhere what is going on all right I'm actually going to trade down the number four overall pick for the number eight overall pick and the number 28 overall pick from the Green Bay Packers. Perhaps I could have gotten more. I didn't try. Ooh, cornerback I was potentially going to take. Juwan Myrick goes to the Raiders. A lot of Raiders Bears action in this rebuild thus far. Christian Crawford, somebody I'm looking at. I know he's a defensive tackle, but we would play him at defensive end. He would fit our scheme over Eddie Goldman. The question is, what would his overall be? And he's not very fast. I don't know if I want to play him. I kept looking for trade down partners because there's no one I really want in this particular range. I don't think I'm going to take Christian Crawford. I might just go down the board and take the player I want. I think I'm going to take a DJ Janti. Janti? That doesn't sound good. We're going to call him DJ Janti out of Auburn. 21 years old. Good top three skills. Decent enough combine for a right tackle. He's going to come in and start right away. 80 overall, ranked number 12. We took him at number 9, I believe. He fits the scheme really, really well. So, happy to add him to the team. 80 overall starter at right tackle is not bad. I'm also going to take another tackle. Another guy that fits the scheme, Xavier Kirby out of Memphis. 
B pass block, finesse, power, and B pass block. He's not incredibly strong or fast, but he fits the scheme. He has good top three skills. We're going to take him for that reason. He's a 77 overall at pass protector. Ranked outside of the first round just barely, but it is a late first round pick. I'm not really too upset about that. With this pick, I'm going with the right guard, Hanson Richard out of Iowa. Decent enough top three skills. That bench press is so low, but he fits the scheme. We're going to take him. He's a 75 overall. He's just not that strong. It's a great value for the pick, rank number 49 in the class. We took him at, you know, whatever this was at the top of the third round. So, not mad, but, you know, he's not a stud. And just because he's still on the board in the fourth round, I'm going to Koi Streets here out of BYU. Not a great combine, but he's got good top three skills. He's going to be a good player. He's here, you know, all the way down in the fourth. 75 overall, loses back, rank number 56, of course. He doesn't really have a spot to start on our team. Wish he was a higher overall so we could trade him, but he's going to be good depth in the in the fourth round, so it is what it is. We're going to take another tackle here. Preston Harris out of VT. Virginia Tech, 74 overall. Quick development, though. Fits the scheme. That's always kind of the theme of this draft. Fits the scheme, improves the offensive line. Can't complain. And we're going to trade down our seventh round pick for a sixth next year. Maybe we'll turn into a five. For the previous year but that is the end of the draft i think we did pretty well we improved the offensive line and that was the main goal of everything so uh yeah let's go ahead and check out the draft recap for everybody as you see dj jaunty at right tackle is a new starter xavier kirby will be the starter at left tackle hanson richard might start at right guard and we'll see if we can maybe move some other pieces i'm not sure Charles Leno's contract is also just bad. Five and a half per year. Also, um, we have, honestly, a better younger player. I know he's not better, better, but he fits the scheme. He's way younger. He doesn't get paid anywhere near as much. I got to move Charles Leno. Jonathan Bullard, a future two and three, gets me a first round pick from the Baltimore Ravens. I just value that first round pick so highly. So... Even though, you know, in apparently classic Bears fashion, we're mortgaging draft picks, we are improving the team quite a bit, and we're getting more valuable draft picks to potentially trade for better players, more massive trades, or better players through the, dra through the draft. All right, boom, huge trade. If you guys don't know why it's blurred in the top, it's just a glitch if you don't back out, which I didn't because it's my first time making a video, and I'm clearly not very good at what I do. But that is the first round pick that we acquired from Baltimore. Charles Leno and a second round pick gets us Fletcher Cox from the Philadelphia Eagles. He is 28, but he's also already a beast. So even if he regresses a little bit, I think it's going to be worth it. He'll stay at about a 95 overall. And the Monsters of the Midway continue to improve Fletcher Cox is going to be playing left end. Eddie Goldman can now effectively go onto the trade block. Fletcher Cox is going to fit the, the scheme perfectly, by the way. Very cool to see. So Fletcher Cox, you now play left end. And this defense is unbelievable. To get him back to an 80 overall, by the way, Eddie Goldman's going to move uh, back to defensive tackle. So now that Fletcher Cox is at left end, he stays a 95 overall. We have Khalil Mack coming off the same edge. We're at a 95 overall as a team. It is a, it is a sick team. It really, really is. Danny Trevathan could get moved. He's starting to regress a little bit. But we're probably just going to hold on to him. What does this team need? A third cornerback? A third cornerback. The offensive line is right where I want it to be. Kind of. The receiving core could improve, but we're going to trade Eddie Goldman... For a third corner or maybe even a draft pick a goldman deon sims and a fourth gets us a first round pick from the buffalo bills that worked out really really well trading a backup tight end a backup defensive tackle that won't play we're in a 3-4 system so that backup defensive tackle will almost never get in the game we are going to hopefully find some replacements here we don't really need a backup we need a third string tight end so we'll sign someone like kind of middle of the pack um let's get ricky seals jones he's gonna sign on for a year we also need a backup defensive tackle and that will be uh kyle williams is old sheldon day could be an option jamie meter just got cut in real life brandon mebane what do we want here we're go we'll go sheldon day i mean he 
he's not gonna play so this is the team though we get trey burton adam shaheen the offensive line almost all fits the scheme as i say in my twitter bio i am basically youtube's dr seuss and that one was a fun rhyme that was accidental check out my twitter in the description uh link down below bangle designs on twitter hit me up with the follow also subscribe to the youtube channel if you're not already maybe you're enjoying the video maybe you're not subscribe anyway i'd be sick i don't have a third string cornerback i need one of those see if we sign brent grimes we got to deal with miko you guys don't know about miko rhymes it's worth or grimes it's worth a google search eric rowe could be an option you know what we're gonna bring back prince of Mucamera. why not he's down to 75 overall now welcome back to chicago everyone wants me to change Khalil max nickname now to the the sack attack from shy i i feel so white saying that though <laughs> like shy i'm not gonna be doing that but i am gonna be simulating to the midseason mark with this team i think it's a good team we just need our rookies to come together we got a bunch of new starters on the offensive line the monsters of the midway on defense is doing quite well let's see what our record is i'm hoping like four wins would be cool four and three shoot for the sky yikes chargers are six and one we're currently on pace to maybe win this division lions not doing so hot but we do have a good amount of skill points to spend what about offensively dude mitchell trubisky needs to get his act together because a 77 overall qb is not going to win us anything all right the team has been upgraded i'm so shocked that bryce callahan has star development he may have made the pro bowl or something and he got that but i have no idea other than that why he would have it like i don't think they give bryce callahan star development they being of course mad but we have a 95 overall defense 83 offense the defense is sick i get in the scheme fit going so we get more xp going and i still want to save the coach xp for the quarterback mitchell trubisky is not coming along that nicely Kenny Clark's going to be an impending free agent at the end of the year. Who else is here? Jordan Howard, Danny Trevathan, Cody Whitehair, Leonard Floyd. Are we past the trade deadline? We are. Uh, yikes. So we re-signed everybody within this top group, except for Danny Trevathan, who will likely be a tag and trade. He's going to go down to about an 80 overall, and it's going to cost a lot to franchise tag him. But we have the money, which is the biggest thing. And he's not that good and he won't get better so we got to move him at some point that's going to be an offseason move more than likely playoff time we made the playoffs we went nine and seven winning the division alex smith wins mvp oh my goodness mitchell trubisky weird season 3700 yards 21 touchdowns 10 interceptions rushing jordan howard 11 touchdowns almost a thousand yards about four yards per carry receiving taylor gabriel 1,000 yards, 10 TDs. Allen Robinson was okay. Where's the running back action here? There's like, there's none. Where's Tariq Cohen? Oh, here he is. Here he is. He had actually a lot of catches. Blocking. How'd the offensive line hold up? Not as bad as I thought for rookies. Defensively, Danny Trevathan leads our team in tackles. Roquan Smith is right there. Tackles for loss. Akeem Hicks leads our team with 16. 15 for Khalil Mack. 13 from Fletcher Cox. Quarterback sacks. 13 and a half from Khalil Mack, 11 from Fletcher Cox. I might try to change the defensive scheme up a little bit. We're getting no interceptions. Nothing's happening defensively. And this team is sick defensively. We've only forced two fumbles. Not even going to check recoveries because it's not worth it. And then no defensive touchdowns. We're going to change up the schemes a little bit. Because clearly something's not working. The Redskins went 16 and 0. The Redskins went 16 and 0. We have a lot of guys that went 11 and 5. The Redskins went 16 and 0. What? NFC Offense Player of the Year goes to Matt Ryan over Alex Smith. Uh, no Bears in here. I'm a little shell shocked right now. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Ryan Kerrigan. Look at all the Redskins in here. Unreal. Maybe we're going to change our scheme to what the Redskins are running. Holy cow. Look how many players are in here. Khalil Mack gets some action. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Taj Caldwell. Obviously, no Bears. We took offensive linemen. Defensive rookies here goes to Steel Ford. That's a cool American name. Steel Ford. Cornfield. 
dirt road all right let's go ahead and upgrade this team how much do we have defensively not a ton again we're not getting as many skill points as we usually might which is a little bit upsetting but this should take eddie jackson to a scheme fit are you now finally a zone style you're still not you disappoint me greatly at least to Koi streets is a sick return man and that'll probably go up even more he goes up to a 76 overall for uh you know running back but he you know he's a return man and we took a fourth round you know pick on him so it's good value I also, it's very uh minuscule but i will say i meant to say spent a fourth round pick on him and and we took him in the fourth round it doesn't really matter but you know people are always looking to nitpick so i i should say that i noticed it and i was deeply disturbed by it all right this is the team 85 offense 97 defense which makes us an 85 can i not read it says it's an eight and eight does not look like a five anyway we got the panthers we're gonna play the moments what is their overall there are 79 and they had a better record than us love it all right third down alert we're gonna take over and hopefully keep the drive alive here at soldier field in chicago illinois and let's uh let's win the game please the panthers are not good they shouldn't be here i'm upset about it i'm salty third and three play action we're gonna check down it's jordan howard spinning back luke keekley wraps up though Per usual, it is all Madden difficulty, so we do have to be careful. I hate all Madden difficulty because it cheeses, but that is open. You see what I? You see what I mean? Go Shaheen, Adam Shaheen, inside the ten. Come on, Mitchell. We're gonna throw it. It's a touchdown. Allen Robinson drops the ball, and I hate my life. That's open. There we go. Trey Burton gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And that is actually a score. Yeah, let him know. I don't, I'm not sure what that was, but we do take the lead. All right, third and four. We've been pretty balanced, but we're going to keep the ball in the air. I like that better. Tariq Cohen checks in the backfield. Might look to throw it to him. We're going to step up in the pocket. And we're going to take off with Mitchell Trubisky. Eat your heart out, Luke Keekley. Where's the flag? Come on. Our defense has played really well here today, only allowing six points. And I guess I will take over and try to keep the drive alive. Of course, you guys know, and you love to tell me, um, it means, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, I know, I'm not the best player. And uh, I enjoy hearing you guys whine about it in the comments section. You gotta get a spy out there. He's white lightning. Mitchell Trubisky first down. Third and inches. Throwing it real quick. Taylor Gabriel first down. That's what you got to do to beat all Madden. You got to just play check down city. Everyone likes to see Alex Smith, the quarterback. Doesn't matter who you actually have. Just check down, throw it short every play, and you're going to be money. Watch this. Let's throw it as short as possible. Boom. There it is. Look at that. That's how you run an offense. Three yards every play. Even on fourth down, you're going to have to go for it. But hey, you'll never not get a first. This is a bad play call for where we are in the field. But Tariq Cohen is open. Good thing the throw was not on the line. We're like, what are you doing? And now we're gonna have to go for it. We don't we don't actually have to. They're gonna blitz here. We should call a timeout. Oh, this is gonna get picked off. This is gonna get picked off. Um What do I do to I'm gonna go throw to Taylor Gabe real quick. It's gonna be picked off. Uh psych. Touchdown. Wow, they actually they came back a little bit. They got in the end zone. We're up by seven. 324 to play. We're just going to try to run out the clock. Third and eight. If we run the ball, I guarantee you what they're going to do is score, which I don't want to have that happen. Let's just try to get the first down. It's a tremendous throw from Mitchell Trubisky. That's why he's an NFL quarterback. All right, they're going for it on fourth down. All we have to do is not do what we're going to do, which is let up a first down. We're going to use it with Roquan Smith. Dude, how sick would it be to use your pick Cam Newton, say easy reads, and then win the Super Bowl? Can someone stop Cam Newton? Oh, I'm in an open field situation. Oh my God, are you kidding me, Roquan? Do you see what happens? I beat him to the spot, yet they get the first down. No, I didn't even hit stick there. He just, he dragged him. 
Get after the quarterback, Khalil Mack. Somebody do something. Oh, we stopped him. All right. That's game. And we win here. Winning is nice. I like to win. We beat the Panthers in the wild card. And yeah, these are great screenshots. Love to see them. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get out of here, please. That's, they're great. Great screenshots. Can I get out of the game? I'm holding X, please. Let's check out the numbers. Mitchell Trubisky overall was terrible, except he didn't throw a pick, which I like. Jordan Howard was awful. Good to see the running game is in full force in simulation. Receiving, uh, nobody really did anything too crazy. I think I threw those touchdowns, so shout out to uh, the CPU offense for being terrible. As far as sacks goes, Keem Hicks, one and a half. Fletcher Cox, one and a half. Where is Khalil Mack, dude? He had three total tackles. What are you doing? Interceptions, none in the entire game. A 20 to 13 thriller. Non-stop action, clearly. Great, the 16 and 0 Redskins. <laughs> At FedEx Field, home of the Washington Redskins is uh, who we're gonna have to face here. Big fan of that. Oh wait, I'm not. You guys like how I fooled you there? That was great. You guys all thought I was super excited. But no, I w joke's on you. All right, they run a 3-4 multiple. We have 90% scheme fit there. And we can just go ahead and switch Khalil Mack and Leonard Floyd now that we're in the Washington book. Oh, actually, we don't even have to. And everyone on our entire starting defense has the, uh, has the scheme fit now. That is awesome to see. That is so good, except for Danny Trevathan. He does start. He is uh, pretty irrelevant. Offensively, it's, it's just a disaster. All right, I guess... Uh, I can't wait to see their overall. We're an 88 with an insane defense. They're an 86. It went 16-0. and 0. How? How, how, how? We're better. I hate it. Big third down. Make the stop. Third and 10. Can we stop the Washington Redskins? In short answer, we should be able to. But guess what? It's not going to happen. Khalil Mack coming off the edge. Let's see the type of pressure he gets. Oh, you! Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that. If you guys look closely, which I'm recording in higher quality now, so you should be able to tell. You can actually. Oh no, I suck. I. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. What I was gonna say is you can actually see uh, their breath because it's cold. Uh, this is a cool feature I didn't know existed. Check it out. Like, I don't know. You can see their breath in the in the cold weather. I don't know why I think that's so cool, but I, I do. It's a screen. Get there, get there, get there. Uh, it's, uh, uh, what is going on? And somehow that's a touchdown. I love this game. We got to make another third down stop here. Will they even get the playoff? Probably not. Nah, they won't. Third and 10. I'd love to be able to convert here. If they're in man, we might have Allen Robinson. That's a touch pass. Who are you throwing? I'm throwing a Trey Burton. Oh my God, Mitchell. You are killing me. I guess uh, Washington turned over the ball though. So we're actually cooking. I'm going to need an accurate throw. There it is. Trey Burton drops it. Oh, I'm going to need like i uh, I'm going to need that to be caught. Not a lot of time left. Let's flip this to the right. Get in the end zone, Jordan Howard. There we go. We're on the board, and we have a chance to actually get out of this. We have a chance to win this game. All right. This, this is the situation you give me. My defense needs help. It's first and goal. There's almost no way they don't score here. So, I love that, I love that situation. That's a good sack, though. Danny Trevathan gets after the QB. Why are you... Why are you blitzing? Oh, we sent a middle linebacker blitz. Shout out to plays working. Third and goal. Please, can we force a turnover? I'm going to have to use your pick. I'm not going to make it through the end of Madden 19. I, I just won't be able to. All right, we need to hurry up here. Allen Robinson quickly. I love a good slant. I also love to throw a good pick on a slant. So we got to watch out. Oh, I maybe had it. We're going to step up. I uh, 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 
stroke. Third and goal. Come on, man. We're stepping up. We got it! Mitchell Trubisky! Into the end zone for the touchdown. I love to run with my quarterback. It's just the last thing the defense ever accounts for, which helps us out. Big third down. Oh, we got to get a stop here. Monster the midway. This is your time to shine. Come on now. Let's use your Danny Trevathan. Let's shut down Captain Checkdown, Alex Smith. If you guys don't watch Giants for... You fucking idiot. I don't... I don't have aggressive pass rush on. This dumbass just jumps off size because you know why? Because it's all Madden and I'm not allowed to win. Come on. Let's make a play here. Let's use her Adrian Amos. It's a run. It's right up the middle. That would not have been a first down if we didn't jump off side. It would have been a different play entirely. And now they're going to score. They're going to extend it to a two score lead. And I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. You guys don't watch Giants franchise. We had a lot of trouble with Alex Smith the other day as he throws super short every time it's a user pick. Easy reads. The Lorax. Roquan Smith, go. Outrun Darius, guys. Come on. Go, Roquan. Go. Go. Roquan Smith, end zone, touchdown. 81-yard user pick six to tie up the game, essentially, in the fourth quarter. Oh, my God. All right. I am the master baiter, clearly. All right, come on. We need to stop. It's a run. It's a run. I'm, that's that's a f illegal hands to the face by the offensive lineman. Come on now. They're letting some good time click off the clock here. And it, it doesn't click off. It ticks off. As I am, yeah, you know, apparently having an, an elementary understanding of the English language. And that's it. Darius guys decides he doesn't want to score there. Maybe he would have had it. We need to hold them to a field goal. And we need this time to stop ticking as fast as it seems to be. A turnover would be fantastic. They're going to be fine with settling for a field goal here. We can't allow that. We got to get the ball back. That's a good start. Timeout. We're going to have a minute. We're going to have about a minute to probably score. If they actually get the first down here, we're in deep shit. Oh, I didn't mean to be in Leonard Floyd. We're going to wrap up though. We're going to have a minute and 20 seconds probably to get a field goal. Can we drive down the field in time? Score a touchdown? I'm not sure. So the field goal is good by Washington. We did a pretty good job. It's a miracle we're even in this game. Here we go. A minute and 20 seconds. Bengal, do not turn over the football. Do not turn over the football. Oh, that's a strong safety blitz. I need to Rico in a block here. We're gonna roll out. Oh, we have it. Mitchell, please. It's Anthony Miller downfield. He caught it. Anthony Miller down inside the 20. Let's go. Come on, Jordan Howard. Boom. I can never just run him over, can I? We have 47 seconds. We gotta get in the end zone. We gotta play this really, really carefully. It's second and three. We're probably gonna keep the ball on the ground. Can we get the first down here? We got to be really wary this clock. There's a spin back. Tariq Cohen first down. We're going to move into the hurry up. If we can run it again, I, I would like to score ASAP. Tariq Cohen, end zone, touchdown. We're going to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter in unbelievable fashion. Now, can we stop the Washington Redskins? Oh, they're going deep. Can we get some pressure on the quarterback, please? I'll take an interception from Kyle Fuller, and that is the ball game. Kyle Fuller. Alex Smith might come in and make the tackle. I don't think so. Darius Geis comes out of nowhere. There's one second left on the clock, and that is one second enough to sit in victory formation and win the game. I don't want... No, no. Why is this... Not, oh, it is in the... Okay, cool. We're going to narrowly beat the Washington Redskins here in really unbelievable fashion. 28 to 24 is your final. The Chicago Bears are going to the NFC Conference Championship. Mitchell Trubisky overall was... Uh, just he didn't do anything. 
Alex Smith threw three picks, I guess. One of them, of course, being a user pick. We'll see you got the other one. Darius Geis with a TD. Tariq Cohen and Jordan Howard, of course, with one. And Mitchell Trubisky. Receiving touchdowns, of course, we didn't have any. Defensively, interceptions for Kyle Fuller, Roquan Smith, and Adrian Amos. Sacks for Danny Trevathan. And that's it. We don't get any pressure because, of course, it is all Madden. It just never happens. It, it doesn't. It's so frustrating. I don't put my sliders in for rebuilds but if you guys want to see my gameplay sliders that is in giants franchise on the channel really if you guys don't watch that series maybe check it out a lot of people seem to like it a lot maybe you will also shameless plug for my own channel on my channel conference championship we have the atlanta falcons the 11 and 5 atlanta falcons jordan howard let's get elusive back i want him to fit the scheme he's finally up to an 87 overall and he's close he's just not quite there yet do we have any points defensively to spend? Not anyone notable. We're marching into Atlanta now. Can we beat the Falcons to advance to the Super Bowl? They're a 91 overall. They deserve to be here. The Redskins not only did not deserve to be in the playoffs, maybe. They certainly did not deserve to go 16-0. and Let's see. Let's beat the Falcons. Red zone alert. It's a good spot to be. I don't mind getting the ball in the four. First and goal. Surely I can't screw this one up, right? You'd be surprised. We've already forced a turnover, so we will get the ball at half. Jordan Howard, get into the end zone. We're running right at Deion Jones pretty much. Jordan Howard with the power, bowls him over. Touchdown. Great start to the game. It's a run. Shed it. Oh, that's going to be a first down. Maybe third and inches at best. It is going to be third and inches, which means we're going to send a heat. We got a swooping blitz here. We're also going to blitz... Oh, they flipped it on me. We're going to blitz Leonard Floyd off the edge. We're going to uh, have Danny Trevathan start there. We're going to use her Eddie Jackson over the middle. What? Oh, my... Okay. Oh, I'm trying not to freak out. Clearly, I'm not doing it well enough. I'm sitting over the middle. Right? It's. I got to go into replay mode. I have to. I am sitting over the middle. I am waiting for it. I'm using Eddie Jackson. I see the ball just get lobbed across the middle right at me. Right at me. I hold a triangle. It looks like he wants to try and make a play on the ball. He watches it sail right past him. I can't believe this. Someone suggested that I didn't have ball hawk on previously, and that might be the reason why, but I'll show you. I have ball hawk on. Sometimes it just doesn't trigger, and that triggers me clearly now 35 to 14 bears atlanta making a tiny comeback and they're going for it on fourth down from the nine fourth and two let's capitalize we're going to come out in man we're going to pinch our defensive line and we're going to use our adrian amos we're going to pinch our linebackers as well we need someone to hit that hole it might be me with adrian amos there it is fullback dive we are all over it shut down danny vital is nowhere to go come on dude somebody just make a play we're gonna check down i love a good check down apparently i'd like to run with the quarterback as well we got the first here that's gonna be huge i really 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 do not want to turn over the football we have a minute we have timeouts You see what happens? I have I have an open receiver. I'm checking down, and he fucking fumbles. And you, it's impossible to pick up the ball. We've lost the game. Kick is up. Kick is good. We're going to have 21 seconds and two timeouts to get down the field and score. We have 19 seconds. That's what we have. Oh, I don't even... I don't know what to do here. Can't turn over the ball. There's Adam Shaheen. Adam Shaheen drops it. Oh my god, dude. I I really wanted to throw it. I waited on it. It was as open as it was going to get. And of course, we don't capitalize. There it is. That's a great pass. Taylor Gabriel gets out of bounds at the 49. 
Come on, man. What do we have to do here? PA crossers. I'm down. I am down. All right, we're gonna... No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. All right, I need something to get open here. We got timeouts. Trey Burton, you gotta hold on. We're at the 37. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss the field goal. We're gonna have a field goal attempt though. 54 yards. We have no kick arc. Wind is pushing to the right. We're in a fucking dome. And we're gonna get iced. It's first and 10. Watch this. We're gonna spike the ball. We're gonna spike the ball. It's gonna take it a second, maybe less. All right, perfect. And we're gonna come out and field goal, you know, field goal. They're gonna call another timeout. I'm gonna spike the ball again. <laughs> Get fucked. There's no way a spike will take three seconds when it takes about, it takes half a second. So we're gonna have a shot. We're, we're gonna have the best shot possible. I will say I do not play with vibration on. It is a big issue. My controller does not vibrate. So when you say just feel for vibration, you know you're off. I don't have that. I don't have that luxury. So this is actually a lot harder for a field goal than it looks. I'm gonna have to just hope I'm on. I'm gonna have to go down a little bit to the right. Hope the wind pushes it through and hope I'm on. I'm dead on. Kick is up and I fucking, I've missed terribly. <laughs> ah! All right, Trubisky, he threw two picks after being perfect like the entire game. I swear to God, I need to see the fourth quarter what happened because we were outscored 24 to nothing. Oh my God. The Falcons, they get revenge in terms of getting, you know, insane comebacks on them. Um, I need to see. So Mitchell Trubisky threw an interception to Devondre Campbell. 45 yard return. Uh, and then Matt Ryan would throw a touchdown to Mohamed Sunu. That's an unbelievable loss. We... Uh, I I hate All Madden. Like, with a passion. And the fact that I don't have a kick arc on All Madden... Very frustrating. I'm going to start playing on All Pro. I need a kick arc. We're in the game. We, we crush them on All Pro. It's not even close, but we will advance to the offseason. I didn't want the Super Bowl anyway, because then the third season would have been stupid. I didn't want to win. I did want to win, but, like, not that bad. Tag and trade time. He's down to an 80. You are getting franchise tagged. Except this offer. One year, no money. No, you won't, actually. You're going to get franchise tagged. We have the money, and we're going to trade him under the tag. Give me a good middle linebacker free agent. Who's here? Nelson Aguilar would help out our team a lot. This needs to be someone we sign. So we got Nelson Aguilar, and we brought back Nick Kwiatkowski. So the team is in a decent spot, still 88 overall. And now we have a better player than Danny Trevathan, former Chicago Bear, current Chicago Bear, never actually left the Chicago Bears in real life. He fits the scheme. Danny Trevathan, who doesn't, is gone. Our entire defensive starters will fit the scheme. We are in a great spot. And Nelson Aguilar adds a ton to the offense. That means Anthony Miller is now just like not super valuable to me, but he's going to remain on the team anyway. He's a good four. Oh, look how good this quarterback is. Gordon Trammell out of Oregon he looks incredible not like a typical Oregon QB though I might say well all I'm really looking for in this draft class is a third string cornerback and I mean Sealy Diedrich I hate the name is incredibly fast amazing combine and he has great man coverage which does fit the scheme so we will probably look to draft him if he's available He's honestly not that good overall. His overall might be good just because insane speed and great man coverage. But, I mean, I, we're probably stuck with him. We might have to even move up. We have the 19th pick. All right, draft time. Who did the Jets go with? They got the quarterback. Ooh, they take a running back, number one overall. Strange. 
I, Gordon Trammell would help us out immensely. Would the Bucks take a quarterback? You know, they might. I know they have Jameis Winston. Would they take a QB? Is he still on the team even? He would be. I didn't see him in free agency. So Jameis Winston likely will still be here. He's an 82. They likely wouldn't take him. But they do anyway. He's an 84 overall. Pretty good. All right, I'm moving up in the draft. It's going to be our pick this year and a one next year because I think we're going to be pretty good. And we're getting the Eagles' number seven overall pick. And we will be taking the cornerback. Seely Diedrich, I believe his name was. What an interesting name. He fits the scheme really well. And he's incredibly fast. So I think he's going to be a decent player. He's an 82 overall. We did not reach learn numbers game. He's wearing number 40. That's so... 48? Oh, that's so gross for a cornerback. He's an 82 overall. Insane speed at 98. 86 man coverage. It's what we... We're a man scheme, so he's going to work out pretty well. What's even here in the second round? Do we even have anything scouted in this range? I don't have anything in my draft board. What's scouted? Not a whole lot, actually. And you know what... Jamarin, Missouri, out of Ole Miss. <laughs> it'd be it'd be cool if he went to Mizzou. Uh, Jamarin, Missouri, out of Ole Mississippi. We're going to take him. He's decent. 75 overall. I like it. Now we have good four cornerbacks. Teron Roll, out of Villanova. Ranked number 56 in the class. Six foot six. He's okay. Uh, I think I'm probably just going to simulate the rest of the draft. Because it doesn't really matter. Our team is set. Even Roll, who's a decent player in the in the fourth round or wherever we just were, fifth round. He's not going to play. So, who cares? All right, our receiving core is sick now. Our offensive line's really good. Our defense is sick. Oh, I forgot to trade Danny Trevathan. What do we want? I could trade Jamarin, Missouri. Who I don't want to because he's a beast. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the team's sick. We developed the Monsters of the Midway. We had a good offense, defense. The team is just good, man. I kind of like us where we are. I might, maybe we could improve on the offensive line over uh, Hanson Richard. We got a big trade going on here. We don't really have picks this year, per se. So we're going to trade even another one. It's going to be a fifth round pick along with Danny Trevathan. Actually, it's going to be a fourth round pick along with Danny Trevathan. And we're going to acquire Brandon Scherf from the Washington Redskins. Maybe they don't go 16-0 now, because that's pretty ridiculous. We got their best player. Hanson Richards is going to be a backup. Our offensive line is better. 91 offense, 95 defense. The monster of the midway is back. Let's see if this team can perform. I sure hope they can. And we're going to simulate to the midseason mark in what could be the final season and try to win the Chicago Bears team a Super Bowl. So the Chicago Bears are... Four and four. Still not necessarily out of the postseason race. One game back. Let's see. Let's upgrade our players. We finally have the elusive back scheme fit for Jordan Howard. About time. About time. 91 offense, 97 defense. I keep reordering all the time because I just want everything to be the best that it possibly can be. Not going to worry about free agents because... This could be the end of the road if we don't make the playoffs here. Or even if we do, I hope we win the Super Bowl and then we just end it so you don't have to re-sign anybody. But can the Chicago Bears make the playoffs? Year number three. So that's upsetting. Seven and nine. Uh, why? The team is so good. One more season. One more. One more. One more. We'll just do free agency. We'll skip the draft. Need to re-sign our players. We have a ton of money, though, so we're going to be all good. All right, Adam Shaheen is back, as is Mitchell Trubisky. He's only a 79 overall. He never really developed much over the course of this thing. Eddie Jackson, Tariq Cohen, Allen Robinson all back as they are instrumental pieces to this team. What do we need in free agency? I mean, we could use an offensive line buff. They never really got going that much. The wide receiving core is solid defensively we don't really need anything we're in a good spot yeah we're not going to sign anybody ryan kerrigan's there the redskins definitely did not go 16 and 0 
if he's uh, not being re-signed probably didn't do too well Mitchell Trubisky though 4,000 passing yards 27 touchdowns 7 interceptions rushing Jordan Howard 1,000 yards 4.6 per carry 16 touchdowns great season for him receiving Trey Burton led our team in catches almost yards too what a weird season blocking offensive line was bad for Xavier Kirby who let up 18 sacks but that's sim for you Roquan Smith led our team in tackles with 121 13 tackles for loss for Fletcher Cox led as far as QB sacks go 14 and a half for Khalil Mack 10 and a half for Fletcher Cox interceptions three for Sealy Dedrick three for Kyle Fuller okay we're actually getting cornerback interceptions in this new scheme Washington Redskins might be the play for all three four looks moving forward defensive touchdowns none any awards probably not Deshaun Watson wins MVP as a 97 overall now NFC Offense Player of the Year goes to Taj Caldwell any Bears no Defense Player of the Year Deion Jones get Cleo Mack and Roquan Smith in their Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Ben D's nuts in your mouth and then Defensive Rookie of the Year is Seeley Diedrich really and he didn't get more skill points for Defensive Rookie of the Year I'm actually shocked he won it. I really wasn't expecting that at all. He only has two points. I think it was one at the start. So overall, he gained three this entire year. He didn't really get much for winning Defensive Rookie of the Year. What's his uh? What's his development? Quick? Uh, that's so disappointing. All right, everyone is upgraded. The team is looking, again, really good. Shocker. Pat O'Donnell is going to move up to a 78 overall as we upgrade power hopefully that actually increases kick power it doesn't he looks like he's gotten a shit ton of botox but you know we're not going to judge pat he can do what he wants time for next season we're skipping the draft we have not a lot of valuable picks this has got to be the year man season four the team is good i don't really know what to say other than uh can we please play up to our skill level please please did i say that enough all right, here we go. 89 overall, 87 offense. I'm not sure how we got worse offensively despite having a better team. I actually know why. Because Adam Shaheen is not the fullback anymore. Is there a better fullback than Adam Shaheen? They need to be an 80 overall or higher. Quentin Dunbar's here. That's interesting. No, we're going to actually move Adam Shaheen back to fullback. Because he doesn't really have much of a role at backup tight end. So let's do that. I don't know why that wouldn't be the best overall team. That makes no sense. What we're going to do is go ahead and release Artie Kelly. Sorry, Artie, but you suck. Now Adam Shaheen's back to being the starting fullback. I still don't understand the overall. The team is sick. We got Diedrich as a starter now. Bryce Callahan out there. Kyle Fuller. We're going to simulate straight to the playoffs. Do or die make or break this is the time no mistakes we went nine six and one we've made the playoffs of course we won the division at nine six and one i like to show it so you guys know i didn't force any wins even though i wish i would have this is home because it's bye week uh we just we just should be so much better but we never are it's upsetting we have the San Francisco 49ers at Soldier Field. We won two fewer games, yet we got the home game. I love it. We get the home field advantage. And with Eddie Jackson's upgrade, we are now sitting pretty. Roquan Smith up to a 99. Khalil Mack at a 99. Adrian almost 94. We have a 99 overall defense. So the Monster of the Midway surely are back. 91 offense as well. This is a decent team. We're going to simulate here against the San Francisco 49ers. Can we beat them in advance to the divisional? We can't. I hate this game so much. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, just for the sake of the video, let's see, let's see what the 49ers are overall-wise. Let's see if they're even in the same boat as us. So, um, you know, they, they actually do look pretty sick. They look pretty good. Maybe not on our level quite exactly, but they're, they're close enough, so... Can't complain too much. You know, it goes sometimes. It, she doesn't. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed either way, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.